You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Ask a Drone You. I'm not Joe Rogan, but I aspire to be. My name is Paul. <laughs> I'm closer than he is. That's, this is true. <laughs> anyway, in, in muscle density and hair loss. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. What is he? Five six or something? Isn't he? He's Maybe five short, eight. I thought. He's not. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's not a dig. I'm I mean, just, just think about this. In comparisons here. <laughs> is it, well, thinking of comparisons, is it funny that the guy who was known for forcing people to stick their hands in cockroaches on Fear Factor is now the singular hope for democracy in 2022? <laughs> Oh, now I'm depressed. You put it that way. Sorry, I sorry. It's so real. Anyway, uh, yeah, <laughs> we're screwed. Okay, on that note, we are not screwed. I know we're not. You clearly, I don't feel that uh, way. Although my history teacher in 2006 in high school, uh, junior year of high school, he said one day comedians will be the way that we get our news, and it'll be more meaningful than the news itself. And here we are. Wow, that was. A sage. Uh huh. Yeah. Of sorts. Wow. Yeah. Damn. Well, I'm, we need yeah. to figure out what that person's up to. <laughs> Might be a billionaire by now. Yeah. In fact, let me see if he's still working. Yeah, uh, that, or that was just like the one thing he did right. Said right. Yeah. True. Probably not. True, true, true. I doubt that's the case. True. Um, all right. Well, uh, I am very excited today because we don't have a, a question. So. No, no, no. We want your questions. What? You said I'm very excited that we don't have a question. I was I was being facetious and sarcastic, uh, uh, and um, did you guys pick up on that? I didn't, I didn't pick up on that. No, uh, but if yeah. you say so, then I believe you. My point my point is is that we have a question about. Um, well, we've seen a lot of these questions in forums. We've seen them in response to our videos, especially in Reddit. And we uh, we have been getting a lot of inquiries about, hey, does the Mavic 3 actually work for mapping or not? Well, and then also what sort of sensor does it have? Correct. And, you know, in my review video that we put out, which a lot of people have been saying uh, a lot of nice things, I just want to say, first of all, thank you so much to everyone who's reached out to me and said some nice stuff. And even people who have said nice, nice stuff on the Internet. A lot of people said that our review went deeper than any other review that went out that was out there and provided a lot more information. And for that, I'm very, 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 very grateful. You made my heart feel good. So thank you very much. Um that said, uh, when I was going over the Mavic 3 and I showed that Pix4D actually pulled up the sensor and pulled it up as a global shutter or fast readout. My point in bringing that up, Rob, was that Pix4D was bringing up the sensor as the same type of sensor as a Phantom 4 Pro. Okay. okay. And so my point in saying that is that it was possible to use the imagery for photogrammetric reconstruction, okay? And, but I was not trying to say that it is a global shutter. I was just trying to say that it could be used as such, but I don't think that that communicated at all. Well, did you, we need to look at it. Did you say it is a global shutter? I, mm, mm, I don't know, <laughs> maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Um, it could be easily perceived that I did though. <laughs> so, and I don't have the video in front of me. I could yeah, put yeah, it yeah. in front of me. But my point in saying this is that we actually like tested this because, again, if you guys remember in the Chinese specs um, and in the specs that were leaked prior to the Mavic 3, it showcased that it did have a global shutter. I am here to tell you it does not have a global shutter. Okay. And the way that we tested that, actually, a student during the mapping class was like, well, why don't we just turn on something? that spins and take photos of it with the Mavic 3 and then we'll know right away whether it's a global shutter or not. And so I was like, okay, yeah, that's brilliant. Let's, <laughs> let's do that. So so we did. It is not a global shutter. And a lot of people are like, well, can you map with it? I'm like, 
well, technically there's still no SDK. So there is no way to autonomously fly a grid mission. There is no way to autonomously fly a double grid. There's no way to fly orbital uh, missions. And there's definitely no way to do free flight. And so, you know, if you if it like your absolute last case uh, scenario and you had a Mavic 3 and you wanted to do an ortho, you know, could you fly it manually, capture the images and reconstruct? Yes. Could you do it for a business? No. Which brings me back to the point where so many salesmen in equipment shops, this literally happened to one of our students, um, if you remember uh, Mr. F in California, who was told by a drone seller in California, the name pros is in there, um, that he could map with a Mavic 2 Pro and they sold him a Mavic 2 Pro. I am here to tell you that if you're running a business, that is a fallacy because can you technically complete a map with a Mavic 2 Pro? Yes, you, yes, you can. Can you do so at scale? No. And we've said this a thousand times. Um, so don't get swindled. This goes back to the last show we just recorded. If people can still confidently make other people believe that the Mavic 2 Pro can map when it can't, what is stopping you from getting your own jobs? That's my question. Seriously. So, so... Are you saying that it behaves similarly to a global shutter? Yes, because okay. it's a fast readout LRS. That's how okay. PIX40 is pulling it up. So could they launch an SDK and actually do some cool mapping with this? I think that they could, but it's obviously not going to be as good as our, our powerhouse Phantom. And I think DJI is doing this on purpose because they came out with the P1 camera, you know, for the M300. And if you're doing mapping, you really need the P1. And it's just like, you know, guys, like it will not be long until someone like Freefly or Sony or, um, well, bless their hearts, they haven't done it yet. They've tried uh, Skydio or someone actually comes out with a real mapping drone that's a true platform that is really easy to operate. Um, I know Autarian has a cool bird that uh, is coming out here soon. I mean, it's just a matter of time before someone puts it out and we're still below, you know, the three to 5K uh, price point and we have a, a powerhouse mapping drone. Look, at the end of the day, the Phantom is still crushing it. It's just, it's not even funny. And if you need higher resolution, fly an Inspire 2. Hmm, weird. Yeah. So there's your answer. You do not have to drop $20,000 to do mapping. Trust me. So... Yeah. That is a factor of market dynamics. So don't fall prey. Do your research. Do your research. Excuse me. I can't <laughs> Do talk. your research with the right resources. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, that clears it up. Uh, it, it, yeah. And uh, if you need any help on uh, overcoming COVID, just uh, let me know and I'll send you to the nearest veterinarian. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh, so that was a good joke. Not really, but kind of. Anyway. You, did, you did Winnie yesterday. It was a weird. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> anywho. Uh, anywho. I think we're starting to go bonkers over here. I think uh, I think that that helps people, though, understand Mavic 3 mapping. Again, appreciate everyone on Reddit. One guy uh, came to my defense. He's like, well... He might have said it was a global shutter, but I think he was trying to showcase to us that, hey, look, in PIX4D, it's ripping the data the same as a Phantom, meaning that you could actually complete maps with it. And I was like, yes, that's exactly what I was trying to say. Anyway, so it's amazing how everyone, I'm learning this, everyone dissects every single word that we say, even though we ourselves are not planning every single word that we're saying. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, which does speak to, uh, well, I, I mean, I don't, I don't want this to sound like I'm pointing the finger at you, but like how we have to be careful the way we say it, right? Because yeah. people are going to do that. So, anywho, thanks for clarifying. Yeah, I mean. I mean, I think that makes it pretty clear. I hope. I hope yeah. that makes it pretty clear. Think you does. know, this is a this is a neat little drone. It still has a long way to go, though, to be really useful. And someone else said this on Reddit, so I am just going to repeat what someone else said. But Rob, it is uh, still true that the Mavic 2 Pro has more features and capability than any new drone still out to this day. No kidding. Uh, I would completely 100% agree with that person's statement. <laughs> I mean, even even though you didn't say it, I didn't say it. Well, I mean, I just repeated it, but I didn't. <laughs> I didn't originate it. So now you both said it. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We probably should go. Yeah. All right. Well, that's going to do it for us today. Thanks again for joining us. As always, my name is Paul. I'm Rob. This is Ask Drone You. Make sure to check out our newest course in membership. It's called Rapid Ortho Mosaics, and it goes over some new software that you might want to use if you're trying to create Rapid Ortho Mosaics. It's a 90-minute detailed class, and it's going to give you everything that you need to know on creating Rapid Ortho Mosaics. So that also means non-geo-reference Ortho Mosaics. Check it out.